Hello everybody, this is Ton Ton here and today I have a brand new authorized figure to show you. Here we have Transformer Wolf of Cybertron authorized Alicon. This is a G1 design which is a Quintessa servant who lives in the body of Unicron. So talking about the beast mode over here, it is kind of weird. It is like a combine of a reptiles from crocodiles and dinosaur. I don't actually I don't have any word to say about this guy because he just looks so weird to me. And looking at the color distribution on the head with the purple line, we can think about the Titan class Triticon with all the similar color plating. The body shape of Alicon is pretty simple. Just by looking at it, you can already know how to transform him because it definitely doesn't do too much. The arm is hidden inside the waist and the two legs stay in put. What is not really nice over here is that they can, I think that they can manage to find a way to hide the robot hands when you transform into in this mode but they're not hanging out like this. Up to the back section here there's a tab so you can actually put store his weapon onto it and that is really nice. And I just love look at the spike details onto the back section that just look really good to me. And at the back section of the tail there's a hinge so it actually can move up and down so it's kind of interesting. The two arms of the beast mode is made from a rubbery material so it doesn't break but then it does not have nothing to do with the range of articulation. And the highlight of Alicon is his mouth of course. It can open it really wide and that is really nice here because inside and outside you have all these mechanical details and I think they will want to find a way to show it. If you look closely enough you can see that Alicon has two set of teeth. This is a really nice point of all the predators. So they put it into this design to increase the wilderness of the figure. Up onto the body of Alicorn, you see there's a lot of holes here. This is the whole of World War Cybertron trilogy, so the collectors can freely combine into many forms, which is really, really interesting. So I've got to try to have the rails of bra onto him, and that, I think that is pretty cool. Talking about size comparison, due to his special size and transformation, I'm gonna compare him to the other robot mode. As you can see, at this beast mode over here, Alicorn has the height which is kind of similar to Cliff Jumper and a little bit shorter than the normal Deluxe. Now let's get to transformation. Finishing the transformation here we have Alicorn in his robot mode and I must say that I this form is kind of growing on me at the moment because it's a kind of the short fat robot like left foot or hound in Age of Extinction. The face of Alicorn is created by different layers of plastic so it gives some depth into the face. The mouth part looks like a blanket covering piece of the old time heist. The color plating of him is really, really nice. They use different colors like green and silver to highlight the important details. And all this spike and horn detail of Alicorn is all made of a, from a rubbery material, so avoid breaking. But then again, the problem of this guy is also always the arm. When he is in robot mode, his beast arms will always be showing out. So I wish they could have made something to hide it, and that would make this figure look a lot more better. By this very different design so he has a lower center so the whole weight of the body is focused onto his two legs and so by having these two giant arms here it will balance out the whole body. One thing I don't like about him is that when he's in robot mode the screw holes is showing upwards. I think they should do it like in the reverse way so people will get noticed because normally the collectors display their figures in the robot mode instead of the alternate mode. His leg is really short, having some gunmetal paint for highlight, but then I must say that this leg is the best thing about this figure, because despite the length of it, the joint and the articulation range feel really nice. 
articulation why this guy head can move around but that is really limited due to the neck him is short and the armor is bulk the arms can do a full rotation the arms sadly cannot move out too much you have a swivel here and you get a bend at the knee and a hand swivel you got a waist swivel over here got a kick to the front kick to the back this is a split the thigh swivel the bend of the knee and some foot articulation over here that is really nice I love just love this foot articulation as you see they are comprised of two joints and for weapon he got his spear long enough to hold it by two hands and this is some size comparison sadly even after we transform him into a robot mode he doesn't get the normal deluxe class height so i think this guy will be a nice addition to your transformer collection i think he looks great he feels great he's a really some kind of like a strange thing a uh, black sheep on your collection and i think that you should get this guy definitely if you're gonna get the quintessence set as well that could be it so what, what do you guys think of alicorn give me your thought in the comment section below and follow me on my instagram i'll see you guys later turn on out